Hello and welcome to the Liz Experiment YouTube channel. I'm your host, Liz, and this is the channel where I record field notes for my journey towards architecting my best life. This week, I'm back in Las Cruces, New Mexico. It is my final week here. I'm recording on a Thursday and Monday, I head back to the East Coast for the holidays. And this week I talk about, well, knowing that I need a break. I also talk about remembering how I need to listen to the wind and I'll talk more about what that all means in the, in the video itself. And finally, I talk about recognizing that I'm still dealing with and need to move further through my grief with losing my dear friend Kofi earlier this year. So with all that, let's get started. All right, y'all. So before we jump in, well, actually, as we jump in, because I guess it's kind of part of the first lesson learned. The first lesson learned this week was how much I desperately need a break. And so that means that this is my very last episode for the year. Um, and next time that I speak to you guys, it'll be 2020. It'll be a new decade, which I keep forgetting, by the way, but that's just another story. Um, and I will be back in New Mexico, but I will be in Albuquerque as opposed to Las Cruces. So lesson learned number one, I really, really, really need a break. The second thing I learned this week that I mentioned in the intro was that, well, I guess this is one of those things that I say I learned, but I'm really remembering. And that is that I need to continuously let go and listen to the wind. And because if I don't, um, well, the universe will, will make sure that I do. Let's just say that. And the third thing that I learned this week was I really need to, I don't want to say need, I, I am continuing to let go and work through my grief around uh, losing uh, Kofi earlier this April. So as I work through those things, um, especially the first one, I need a break. You know, I mentioned I'm taking the rest of the year off from, from, from creating videos. Yesterday was Wednesday. It's, it was my last day of work for the year. So that's super exciting. Um, also because I noticed that I was getting this huge tension headache from just, I don't know, I guess it's just been a long year. It's been a wonderful year. I'm incredibly grateful for everything, but, uh, it's time to just chill out. And so that's what I'm going to be working on for the next few weeks. The second thing with listening to the wind. And so I had a video about this earlier in the year, and I'll be sure to link to that in the description down below. But when I say, talk about listening to the wind, I talk about noticing um, kind of the signs that are happening around me or noticing when things work out or when they don't or noticing when my actions uh, create actual uh, responses or outcomes and when they really just are wasting my energy. So in this regard, what I found recently, which caused me to remember that I need to listen to the wind is that I have been really wanting to slow down my travel and be in locations longer. Um, it's something that I am grasping for. And I think because I'm grasping for it, uh, it's not happening. <laughs> and so I can't force it. And the more I try to plan ahead and figure out where I'm going to be, get, be in the next year or figure out where I'm going to be staying and the more that I put plans into place, the more those plans don't work out. Um, eventually, I think that will change. Like, I don't think that's my plight for life. I think just I'm noticing that it's not working out as I try to really force myself slowing down my travel. And so instead of forcing it, I need to take a step back and know that whatever outcome happens, it's the best one for me. And, and that I think that's for anybody, um, uh, in, in a certain sense, I know there are different, uh, <laughs> different situations there. I know I have an incredible support system that of, of friends and family who are around me. I think it's just Liz, it's not yet time. So work on balancing and letting go and having faith that the universe has your back and that you will be okay. And listen to the wind, damn it. So that I will be working on in the upcoming weeks. 
And the third and, and final thing that I will, or that I have been working on is recognizing and continuing to let go and work through my grief around losing Kofi. Um, and this came up this past week because I was tossing and turning, wondering if I should send his family, uh, and, and, uh, and reach out to his friends and, and, and send them Christmas cards or holiday cards. And it felt like this was something that I'm supposed to do now. You know, he's passed away and my connection was always to Kofi. It was never really to his family. They're awesome. And I think about them and I care about them, but I, we just never really had a connection and we didn't have a, a relationship. And so I'm, after all this tossing and turning, I went out and I bought a card and I was getting ready to send it and it just felt so wrong and which then influenced another night of tossing and turning. But uh, during this next night is when I saw my error in my ways, which is if I sent that note and if I reached out to his friends in with the intentions that I have currently or that I had at that time, it's... It's not at trying to reconnect or, or continue our relationship. It's a grasping at his memory. It's a grasping at keeping him alive, at not dealing with my own thoughts and feelings and using guilt on other people, uh, my own guilt on trying to connect with other people. But really, it would, it's me trying to reconnect with him, and that's just not going to happen. He's dead. He's gone. And that's awful, sure, but it's true. It is what it is. People die, people pass away, and it's very sad, but it's very human. It's the most common human characteristic that we all have is birth and death. Um, so I didn't send anything, and I'm thinking about all of them, and I care about all of them, and but I recognize by me not sending anything, it was me um, not holding off on going into my thoughts and feelings around this time of year. You know, Kofi and I were business partners for a long time. We sent gifts to our clients this time of year. Like a lot of memories are coming up. As my great friend said, the firsts are really hard after you lose somebody. And that's going to continue to happen until time passes. So I go, as I go into 2020, I'm going to keep this practice going and and I'm sure there are going to be these firsts that continue to crop up or even seconds or thirds or what have you, but I'm going to try to work through them and do what's right for me as opposed to trying to grasp and, and hold on to his memory, um, which is really just me not, not moving forward. And I know, and my other dear friend also said, you know, moving forward is what he would want all of you to do. And I know that, and I'm very sound in that. So that, that was a big one this week. I, there were a lot of tears around that one this week, but it's all good for now and things are moving forward. And so that's really it for this week. I, as I said, this is my last video. I wish everybody a lot of happy holidays and a happy new year. And if you, I'm interested to hear what everybody's doing this holiday season. Like I said, I'm going back up to, um, my parents' house for a week and and then I'll be in East Hartford, Connecticut for a few days, and then I'll fly back to Albuquerque. Um, but I don't know, reach out and let me know where you're going to be. It's just kind of interesting to see what we're all doing differently this time of year. And until next time, next time I will be in Edgewood, New Mexico, um, I guess sometime the week of January 6th, like that week, you'll hear from me again. I want to thank Hans Adam featuring Snowflake for the music that I, that I use in the intro and the outro. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and just let me know or comment and let me know what you think about grief or listening to the wind or needing a break. How do you take a break? Is anybody else taking a break this time of year? Um, and if you want to get these videos every week, please don't forget to subscribe, but also don't expect anything until uh, at least January. And with all of that, thank you so much for watching. Thank you.